day 64 solution, we're going to start by building our class for our generic job. So we said we were going to store the name of the job. And once again, I'm just going to use that none variable, which just says there is something here, but we're not set it yet. I'm going to store the salary and the hours worked. Now we're going to have our initialization variable. And remember, we need to give it self name, salary, hours worked. And if that's done successfully, we're going to do self.name is the name, self.salary is the salary we've given it, and self.hours worked is the hours worked that we initialized it with. And then here's the nice bit it's the printing function. So def will define print within that. It's going to have self because it's going to be sent a copy of its own data. So we're going to print out nicely print job print a blank line, print out, let's do an F string so I can have some central alignment. We're going to do self.name and I'm going to left align that within 15, followed by self.salary. Uh, again, I'm going to actually want to central align that amongst 10. Actually, there's only about 32 across, isn't it? So let's do 10, 10, 10 just to give it enough space. And then finally, I'm going to do self hours worked uh, and make that right aligned on 10. And just to check that works, I'm going to do, uh, what did we say? We said um, lawyer equals job lawyer. Let's go for 100,000. Let's say hours worked. Let's call it 40 hours a week. Now, if that works, that should create that. So I should then be able to do lawyer.print to get that printed out on the screen. Let's see how that works. Okay, job object has no attribute hour worked. So I've missed an S somewhere. Hours worked, hours worked, hours worked. So it's lines on that one, line 14, it believes. Ah, here we go, hours worked there. Right again, and there we go. And that prints that out quite nicely, actually, doesn't it? So. What we need to do now is inherit from that our doctor. So class doctor inherits from job. So aside from the stuff I've already got, I also want to have experience and speciality. Let's see, what do I need to give it? So I don't need to know the name because I know it's a doctor. But I do need to know the salary. I do need to know the hours worked. I do need to know the experience, if I can spell. And I do need to know the speciality. So I'm going to say self.name equals doctor, because I know what that is. Self, I'm going to copy these ones actually, because they're going to be the same. Self.experience equals experience self.speciality equals speciality. And I could more or less leave it at that, but I do need my print function to be slightly different because it needs to include code for the um, experience and speciality. So I've got all that there. I'm going to include a new line as well, F string it, and I'm going to do self.experience and make that left aligned on, let's see, 15, then self dot speciality, and make that right aligned on 15 as well. So roughly speaking, hopefully, they should line up nicely. So if I do doc equals doctor, it was doctor I called it, wasn't it? Yes. Um, and how do I initialize it? Well, I need to give it, as I said here, salary. So let's call it Again, let's call it like 120 speech marks, 120,000 hours per week. Let's call it 48. Let's do experience. So we said seven years experience and it's a pediatric, what did I say, consultant? Whatever, there we go. So if I do doc.print then, I should get my doctor printed out as well. There we go. Yeah, that's, not, that's not too bad there. My alignment is way off though. These should be matched up. So that's 30 altogether, 32. So 
So that means, well, bring this back in a little bit. It might be this being too big. Let's give that a 10. Let's give that a 20. Let's see if that looks any nicer. Uh, better. I think we're about maybe one away from it being perfect. There we go. Now they're lined up on the right hand side and the left hand side, which is quite nice. Okay. Teacher. That's all that's left. Teach. Oh, I'm creating my teacher. I haven't defined it yet. Let's go and create our teacher. So class teacher inherits from job. Now it's important we inherit from job here, not inherit from uh, the doctor. Because if we inherit from the doctor, we need to put in a speciality and the experience. So our teacher, what else do we need apart from the, the normal stuff? We need to have um, subject and position. So that means our init code is going to be very similar. I'm going to copy this from my lawyer, sorry, from my doctor. I know this is a teacher. It's not hours worked. It's going to be subject. So let's get that in there. It's not speciality, it's position. And let's get that in there. Our print code is also going to be a little bit different. I'm going to pinch this one from here. So it is position there, oh dear, and subject. Let's create our teacher. Teach equals teacher. Uh, let's say teachers are underpaid. Hours a week. So plus, you know, teachers work really hard. Everyone works really hard, but you know, teachers underappreciated. Well, as a teacher myself, I'd say that, wouldn't I? Uh, let's see what's next. Subject, computer science, position, assistant, Principal. Let's go for it. Oh, hours worked is not defined. Where am I printing out hours worked on line 40? Oh, here we go. Don't need that. Right again. And I forgot to do teach.print. Oh, what are we doing here now? <laughs> line 46. Self name, self salary. So that should be okay. Unsupported format string passed to none type format. So something here is not set. Let's have a look. Salary set. Ah, I've got hours worked here and what I should have. Oh no, I do need hours worked, don't I? So yeah, I should have hours worked brought in here. So we'll set the hours worked. We'll add in the hours worked back here. And that should write itself, hopefully. So I'm missing something. I'm missing one required positional argument online. So I've got teacher, hours worked. What have I put here then? Salary, hours worked. Subject, ah, I've left experience in there, which I don't need. There we go. Everything's right with the world. So you see with this, you've got to be really careful that you are defining the right content to your class, but it is a lovely way of creating basically a way to store very specific information.